Okay, I am going to reinstall my uh, Purple Panda mic. Um, it wasn't a fault of the mic that I uninstalled it, but thought this time since I should know what I'm doing, maybe I'll film it. Uh, the only thing thus far that I don't like about this specific mic, I mean the Purple Panda is kind of cute, but this jack does not work with GoPro's media mod, so you've got to put this thing on it. So this just creates a where do I put it because I first time I tried it, I literally crammed it up inside in here. Well, it was on the other side, which is why I pulled it off. I crammed it up in there, and it made the padding so tight that it was, I started clamping my jaw uh, because it was too much pressure. So I took it out, and then I had it where I literally just had it here and I put some gaffer tape over it which then you've got tape on the outside of your helmet yeah don't love that and so I'm gonna try to do something different or like maybe I'll put it in right here all right if you kind of get that idea this will be long enough to hit that and then this will get all the way crammed up in there so here we go, a little video on that, and we'll see how this process goes. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. You basically take the, the cheek pad out, the ear flap out. The ear flap has a little uh, foam on it. You just rip that foam off. And for whatever reason, I just can't get this snap done again, but it gives me a little extra here because this actually has to go onto the other side, uh, the other side over here now. So I don't know if it'll work. I'll test it tonight, see how it does. And more than likely, there'll be a video on that too. Well, thank you for watching and I'll keep you updated on how well it works. Okay, so long story short, that didn't work. So I had have the microphone here and have the, the coil in the ear box right there and was trying to get it to loop out to here, but because like the, uh, like I said, the, on the GoPro, the media mod has the input on this side and it just wasn't working. So what I did is I routed it all the way under about here, came out and boom. And because this cord is so long, that actually worked a lot better. Um, so then you can like, you know, Tuck the microphone in a little bit right there. Um, yeah, so that way you'll get away from some of the wind noise. Um, hopefully it's not too bouncy around in there, but may put a little bit gaffer tape on there on the inside, but it's actually like you can only see it in a couple spots out here um, and it doesn't interfere with the safety harness besides that, which is exactly where the juncture is and it meets up perfectly right there. So there, that's my recommendation. I like it. Um, like I said, I'll test it tonight and let you know. But I like it that way much better than the first way I had it, the second way I had it, well, the third way I had it. And so now hopefully this is the last way I have it. We'll see. See you next time.